Welcome in all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. It is Saturday, April 20th, 2024. The time is 8.45 a.m. here in sunny and blue skies, Salem, Oregon. I am continuing my journey on Diamond Dot Seaside Dawn. And here is the thumbnail and it has 33 colors which includes two ABs which stands for Aurora Borealis which are special drills <clears throat> um, uh, they're drills that have a special effect coated on them and they're great for creating extra shimmering effects on the diamond painting and the diamond painting size is 36 I got to put on my readers I'm reading it off the box uh, 36 by 27 centimeters or 14.2 inches by 10.6 inches and uh, there are 11,844 drills to lay down and I am doing this for <clears throat> Diamonds by Tita's event, Blissful in Blue. And yes, I did post a picture on Facebook. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I think that's all I have to say about that. And I have my coffee beside me, which is breakfast, caffeinated breakfast blend with hazelnut creamer and I do not have a candle wax going today why I have the door open and <clears throat> I want to wait till I have the door closed so that I get the full effect of the aroma yeah so there we go so this morning well Last night, yeah, for some reason, I could not sleep. And I did not go to sleep until, it was after 11 o'clock at night. Oh my gosh, I am never up that late. And so I got sucked into watching some YouTube shorts yeah oh boy so anyway I didn't wake up until oh my gosh 6 30 I think it was yeah all right so I am on color 20 which I think hold on yeah which is the capital T and it's color 8140 which is Oh, I forgot to do the emails. Hold on, I'll do that. 8147. Deep. I don't know how to say this word. <clears throat> Aegean? A-E-G-E-A-N. Blue. Which is 995 on the um, DMC side. Alright, let's get to the emails. Okay. Teresa, she just finished this. And this is a Diamond Art Club Red Truck Daisy Hill. Wow, she finished that fast. It's a 22 by 31 inches or 56 by 59 centimeters. Wow. She started it on April 14th and finished it on April 19th. Wow, and look at my shadows. Don't know why I have shadows today. Let's see. Hold on. Let me see if it's my light. Or if it's the overhead light. Hmm. All right, hold on. Let me see if it's the overhead light. I have the door open. Um... 
putting in some fresh air. And I got light coming in from, I don't know where that shadow's coming from. It has to be because I have the door open and I'm filming at a different time. But oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Ooh, look at that blue sky and the mountains. That could be my house. Except I don't have a red truck. Oh, and she sent a closer view. Wow. I like that. Hey, thanks for sharing that. That is really, really pretty. All right, Julie. She finished her monthly and a new start. Uh, she says, I finally finished the monthly Tiny Fun Canvas. She's been kind of in a slump for diamond painting. She's getting back into it. And I am so behind in watching videos. Congratulations on all the new friends. I am starting a new diamond art club painting called A Song for the Moment. Keep up the wonderful job. Your channel is awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, there is, she's doing the same monthly paintings that I am doing. This one turned out really gorgeous. I love it. And look at that heart. That is great. Oh my gosh, look at this wolf. Wow. And it says a song by Saneva Meister. That name sounds familiar. Uh, round drills, 21.7 inches by 30.7 inches or 55 by 78. So that's going to be a good sized canvas. Wow. I like that. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing that. All right. All right. Christina Foster. She says, hey there. So I bought that pen holder, <laughs> the one I showed from the dollar store, a few months back and had the same idea you did. I used five pens and it fits them perfectly. Four pens each have a single placer and a seven placer. One pen has a straightener and an AB tip. I keep all the pens waxed up and during long diamond painting sessions, I like to switch them up. I keep my old hands by switching grips. Oh, it helps my old hands by switching grips, thickness and sizes. I agree with that. I am the same way. I am also including a photo of my last completion. It was from a couple months ago. I work full time so I am not a fast painter. I am currently working on a custom of my grandkids from Dreamer Designs. Thumbs up, Dreamer Designs. Yep, we're a member of the Dreamer Club. It is a square 60 by 80 centimeters. I love the big ones. Thanks for sharing your life with us, especially Ellie. I have been here for about a year and truly enjoy listening to you as I clean my guinea pig cages and feed my dogs every day after work. Have a great day. And she sent a picture. Oh, you know what? She got a pretty pink one. My dollar store did not offer that. So I'm going to be on the prowl for... Oh, wow. Look at all those different pens she uses. This one here at the end looks like the one I have. And yep, there's that tip for um, the special drills. 
I don't know. I got mine from Dreamer. Look at that pink one. That's interesting. I have never seen one like that before. Where did you get that? And look at that one. I've never seen one like that before either. Wow. And then there's her finish. Oh my gosh, that is adorbs. Look at that kitty. <laughs> I like that. Oh my gosh. Hey, thanks for sharing all those. And I'm really interested in those um those pins. See, that was from Christina. All right, let's keep going. And then we have Anita. She's working on a big painting from Diamond Art Club together with you. Okay, and oh, this is the dog one. You know, I saw that. That is so cute. There an Ellie dog in there. That one's kind of close, except for Ellie is a darker brown. But those are Ellie ears. That is cute. Let's see. Can't read. Come on, focus in. I don't know what size that is. That is really cute. I like that one. Okay. And Patricia, she says, yep, I belong to the same club. And we all know what that is. Spill your drills. <laughs> my goodness oh she's got the same heart tray that I do <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna talk about that what's that right there that she's got going that looks like special drills mm -hmm. like the special drills and she's got a pink mat yep we like those we like a pink. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you're a member of the Spill Drills Club. All right, anything else in here? I think that's it. So I will be responding to each one of you. And thank you, everybody, for sharing all that. Wow, that was a lot today. <laughs> Okay, and as usual, because I've got the door open and I've been outside with Ellie, I got the post nasal drip going. Okay, so we're going to drink some coffee. Still in my M&M mug, and it says, Trust me, I'm sweeter than I look. All right, so I was, um, V, Crafting with V, had her um, live this morning, and I was in there, of course, and hold on, I got to see where I'm at, because I, I was watching the live, and then that was over, and then I vacuumed. And did a few things and oops, I gotta turn on this light so I can see better um, so I don't know where I'm at okay we're on the road to recovery now so off and running um, anyway when I was watching they were talking about different trays and I have a whole drawer full, full of different trays and 
you know, they're just gathering dust in there. And I thought, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to try out different trays. Because everybody was saying, oh, this is my favorite tray. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, there goes my light. I really need to get a light switch. Um, and I am just not one to pay attention to that. Um, so, that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be checking out different trays. So, I just grabbed this little purple one. And what I'm going to do is see... You know how it is for the space in between and then the spout now this one looks like it has a big big spout so I'm gonna see how that worked out for me and I've been working with the big tray so I got to get used to the little tray So yeah, I'm just going to try it out for a little bit and see how that works out for me. Do you guys have a special tray or, you know, now I like colored trays, however, You know, there's always the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, I really like this tray for... It fits the drills really good for this canvas. Um, but... The color trays... Sometimes blend in with whatever color you're doing. It's hard to see them. For me but I'm vision impaired sometimes so yeah is that a spare drill there I'm gonna put it there uh, yeah so it's supposed to start raining later today but right now I mean and the clouds we have a few clouds but they're pretty high right now but I think it's supposed to be in the 70s today hey Google what's the weather today Hey Google, what's the weather today? I think she's on strike. She's been acting up lately. Okay, now yeah, let's see how this... Hmm, something went wrong. Try again in a few seconds. Oh, you're just still sleeping. All right, this one is stuck in there. Hmm. Oh, there goes my light again. Alright. Uh, what do I want to do next? Let's do the check marks. 26. And that is color 8151. Dark Sea Quest. And the DMC is 3755. Hey Google, what's the weather today? Today in Salem, there will be showers with a forecasted high of 67 and a low of 38. Currently it's 56 degrees and sunny. Okay. Got that out of the way. Hmm. 
my son um, who lives upstairs he was out mowing the field this morning and the sides and all that so it grows so fast he has to do that at least every other week He has a big riding lawnmower that he uses. And it takes him oh, a good hour, hour and a half to mow all that. I think an hour and a half. I was trying to think when he was out there. I think he went out at 7.30 and he's just finished up. Yeah, I don't have anything on the agenda today. I still keep forgetting to go look for my Fitbit. Did I put that on my to do list I did no post pic of Facebook I did that I need to put on there find Fitbit okay then I could put that little note on here there we go done and dusted I have got to move up to, um, you're supposed to do 10,000 steps a day. So, Ellie needs her itchy medicine on, I can tell, because she's over there itching away. Yeah, it's, um... Definitely allergy seasons here. So See what else happened yesterday. Um, we did the walk with Ellie yesterday. I don't know what I did yesterday. A little something sticking right there on this. I'll have to wash it, I guess. Maybe it's got dust on it. Um, yeah, I didn't do anything exciting yesterday. Today is my grand, my youngest grandson's birthday. He turns 10 and He was born April 20th in uh, 2014, and Ellie was born two weeks later, May 2nd, 2020, or 2014. So I always know how old my youngest grandson is because they were born two weeks apart. <laughs> So they, he's going to have a party at the bowling alley 
and my son has this big party plan there yeah so that's at two o'clock I don't know if I'm gonna go or not I probably won't bowl but um, yeah, I'll go and um, for a little bit sit and watch them my son is a little bit nervous because um, they sent out the invitations, but one person responded that they wouldn't be able to make it. And then one other person RSVP'd, but nobody else has. And I think they invited six kids, so he's like, oh my gosh, are they going to show up? I've reserved all of this, and... You know, you go to the expense, and yeah, you don't know if they're going to show up or not. Hopefully, because Bradley goes to all of their parties. So, yeah, Bradley's always. Uh, social little butterfly. <laughs> Nothing shy about him. Well, he can be shy, but he does the social... Um, you know, thing with his friends, and he loves having sleepovers, so David always lets him have one of his friends over. to think of something to talk about um okay any ellie shenanigans um she was out laying in the sunshine i have to be out there with her because it's bee season She likes being out there, but I usually let her out. We sit out there for about, I don't know, or, you know, she likes to watch the comings and goings, and, yeah, that's her thing. So she'll, she just sits there like a statue, just waiting, you know, for somebody to drive up, or, you know what, I'm going to change... I'm going to try this pink one here. Yeah, that one that I was using kind of sticks, so that's a no-go. I'll put that over there. I don't put it back in the... Okay, this one is different. So, let's see how I like this one. Yeah, but she just, yeah, that's her thing. She loves to sit out there and just, 
be the neighborhood watchdog. I have spray for her that I put on for her allergies. So I'm going to have to put that on her when I get done here. week sometime um, I'm probably gonna have to give her a her allergy bath or shower for rubber ducky time <laughs> yeah the problem is that you don't want to do it too often because that just makes her have dry skin So, um, and she just had it done two weeks ago, so yeah, I can probably do it next week. Yeah, because she had it the day before she went to the bed, and then, um, And we went through all that drama, and then she had her shots. And they're always a little bit sore after their shots, so I don't like to overexert her at all. <laughs> have to <clears throat> enjoy my coffee today with creamer. Because tomorrow and Monday I can have coffee with sugar but no creamer. Uh, because I'm getting ready for my procedure on Monday morning. And, yeah, so tomorrow I go on a liquid diet. Oh, yay for me. I can have coffee and tea, soda, chicken broth. All that good stuff. And then... I'm going to have to leave here about 8.30 Monday morning because uh, I have to be there at 9.15. And then, oops, my son has to take me and bring me home. And... six hours afterwards. <laughs> oh, brother. But he works from home. So. And he lives right next to me. Maybe I'll just sleep the six hours away. Oh boy, a lot of check marks in this. You must be into the 
water part. This tray, I think. Well, I don't know how I'm going to pour the drills out. There's no spout. Maybe here? We'll check it out. I think this would be good on the um, special drills, special shapes. Yeah, that would be a good. Um, did I do that wrong? Nope, I did it right. That would be good for those, I think. I did read a little bit last night, but I think I finally made it to page 700. Yep. V was saying in her lies she has not started book two yet. Outlander. And I'm kind of curious if It's kind of getting interesting. Um, this part of the book is about Claire and Jamie's daughter. That's the main focal point right now. And she kind of... It's really weird because, I mean, this is my take on it, is that her daughter and her boyfriend, who's kind of her husband now, um, remind me a lot of Jamie and Claire. So it's like, okay, we're just getting a repeat performance here of the characters. So if Claire and Jamie die, these two characters can take over. That is my thinking right now. So we'll see if it's right or not. But Because they keep, ins or the author, you know, keeps insinuate, or um, bringing, uh, not insinuating, that don't want that word, um, has brought up several times the death of Jamie and Claire, and apparently they die in a house fire. Now... The question is, C, 
since her daughter already knows that in the day of the death, are they going to try to alter what happens? Yeah, but now Claire's daughter and her boyfriend husband, I, I don't know, they did their own little ceremony to be married. And you got to remember, this is in the 1700s. Um, but anyway, um, they're going in separate directions right now. So it's like, okay, now what's going to happen? Um, I mean, obviously, you know something's going to happen. They're going to be, you know, separated for a while and blah 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 so all right let's see what happens when I try to pour these oh that wasn't oh, this one's stuck it's in a corner all right well that's okay um, okay, now we're going to change colors, I mean, yeah, so I'm going to change, um, what I use. All right, so what else do I got in here? Okay, I got another little tray, and it's just a clear. And I remember I was real excited to get these clear trays, and I finally got one with one of my kits. But this is the problem. I'll show you. If you lay your drills down, you know, if you lay them down on the canvas like what I do, you can't see them. So that one's out for right now. Ugh. Why am I spilling these drills all over? What is going on? All right, let's... There is a lot of static in these. That is why. You know what? I didn't spray the... I didn't spray this. All right, where did they go sailing off to? I'm sure I'll find them somewhere because I know I had some. Here's one. Okay, I don't know where that went flying off to, but maybe it was just one. All right, so. I don't want to use this tray. I don't want the clear ones right now. All right, what else we got in here on the bag of tricks? All right, what have I used? All right, this was the, <clears throat> this one is one kind of tray with that. It's pretty wide, but then, I have these with the sparkly. You know what? That looks crooked, doesn't it? All right, and it's got, but it has the smaller spout to it. So let's try it. It looks warped or something. I don't know. Are they all like that? I thought. Of them here. Let's see if they're all warped. Oh, that one's not. All right, we'll try that one. Alrighty. All right, now I think I'll do the X's, which is 15, 8, 3, 
five zero. Dark brick red or nine twenty in DMC. Okay. Okay, we're up and running. Oh, I like this tray. That's perfect. And the drills fit in there pretty good. I am not a purple person, but I wonder now. I don't know where I got these trays. <gasps> Restocks are in from Dreamer. <coughs> I just got the notice. Sorry. <coughs> At Dreamer Designs. Go to their website. New arrivals. See if there's anything in here that I am waiting on. So far, nothing I can't live without. I'm being more selective. Um, mainly because I have something I need to do. Spring Blooms on the Lake is sold out. Oh, these are sold out. Wow, that one's, there is, um, that Mad Props, it's still sold out. They haven't got that in. Alright, let's go back to the top. Because those are all sold out. Alright. So, Lakeshore. The Alex Sundor. I really like his stuff, but... I don't know. I was... It's pretty dark. I like more things with more color in it. Let's look at the rendering. Yeah, I'm just, mm. but he does have some canvases that I, I like, but, all right. Vermont Church Fall Fair, that's pretty, but I've already got some fall pictures. Okay, Lake House. That's pretty, but um, yeah, not one that I love. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? Okay, well, I've gone through twice. I like the morning view, but once again, uh, it's kind of dark. I want something lighter. Okay. 
Hey V, they have unicorn forest. Bow stock. Yeah, well, I'm going to save my money this week. Yeah, nothing there that floats my boat. <laughs> Which is probably a good thing. I'm trying to be really good about not buying um, diamond paintings. Because I have plenty. I really do. Um, and I just have so many now that I want to do. And just not. You know. You just can't do them all. Alright. There's another X. And another X. And I think. I'm at 50 some minutes here. So I'm going to let you go. Ugh. <sighs> So, okay, well, hopefully I'll get at least this section done and then I just have a little section up there to do. So I appreciate you stopping by and visiting with me. And if you haven't become one of my friends, just um, hit that friend button or AKA subscribe. And uh, I'd love to have you be my friend and join us my family of friends on here if you like this video yep give it the thumbs up if you want to be notified of my future videos just hit that bell and say all and you will see my future videos it'll pop up that oh, granny has a new video <laughs> all right well thanks for stopping by and I will chat with you all later.